Hi guys, so this is a quick real-time um, winter nail design. You're going to need some cocktail sticks or dotting tools. Um, a, a base colour, I'm choosing this blue. You're going to need a white gel polish and a top coat. Either shiny or matte, the choice is entirely yours. And I am using my mix of acrylic and shimmer or you can use glitter or I will also go through the steps if you don't have the sprinkles to do it with just gel polish. So I have buff tips and I am going to do two layers of Alice Blue. I do think I only did one when I was filming and then I think I did the other layer off camera. But I've not sped this one up. This is a nice, quick, quick and easy design um, that you can add to nails. It's great for winter and Christmas time. And you don't need a lot to do it. You have the options of sprinkles and no sprinkles. Oh. This Alice Blue is a lovely colour. It is brighter than I thought it was. That I thought it was more pastel. But it's, it still works for Christmas because it's blue and white. Um, this one is by Glitterama, which has changed its name to Emma Louise Nail Systems. And it's a great job polish. They're, um, they're HEMA free. They go on quite nice as well. And that is the first cut, so I put that into cure. Um, I can't remember whether I do do a second cut, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Um, I'm doing a voiceover because oh, I do do a second cut, that's why I'm shaking it. I d I'm doing a voiceover because somebody was running around my house and barking like a jackass. And I didn't have the patience to redo takes, so I'm voice-surfering, and there it goes again. So these have had two, two coats, and they've been cured. And I have chosen to go in with the shiny top coat. Um, shiny or matte, it's entirely your choice. I've chosen shiny because the, the sprinkles are going to make it matte. So it was just like a, a, a contrast that I quite liked. Now, the reason I am top coating is so any sprinkles I do don't stick into the tacky layer of that polish. Technically, if you don't want to top coat, you could actually probably just gel cleanse. And then go in with the white, but just to be on the safe side, I went in with a layer of um of no wipe top coat. So you are gonna want your dotting tools next, or a cocktail stick, or the end of your tweezers, just something sharp and pointy. So you go in with a layer of white, and you do not cure this. It doesn't have to be really thick because you are going to put sprinkles over it. You may need to use a slightly thicker layer or actually put a paler colour underneath if you are just going to do this with gel polish. Um, for some reason in my head I had this down as a, as a paler blue. As it is, I quite like it. You will also see me wipe the gel polish off two of these tips in a minute because... I didn't mean to do all of the tips. And lucky for me, I hadn't got around to actually curing anything. I do end up off camera stamping the tips I leave blue, just with some white snowflakes to tie it in together. I absolutely love stamping snowflakes for Christmas because it's, you can always get them so much more tinier and more intricate rather than painting them on the nail. And I suck at tiny drawings like that. My hands start to shake and it's just a no. Right, so I'm just using some gel cleanse just to take off the white paint. 
I couldn't cut that out because it's right in the middle of a take and I've not quite figured out how to do that without accidentally deleting the entire clip. So these two uncured, just the white gel polish as it is and you are going to take your sprinkles and give it a good douse. I'm using a nail tip just to scoop it on there and remember to scoop it on there and give it time to soak in because if you tip that off and see it start to go shiny it means it can take more and if you don't give it more it will end up slightly tacky when you do actually cure it and it, it won't have the matte effect it'll have the shiny effect now if you're not using any sprinkles and you're just doing this design with gel polish do still do not cure your white just hold it steady and wait until we get to the next part so as you can see i just keep pouring that on there because i just keep finding bits near the edges where i've missed that i really don't that i really want to make sure i catch Don't cure this either, not yet anyway. As you can see, no shiny sections. Nice and sparkly though, it looks like snow. Oh no, apparently I did find a shiny section. Maybe I should have sped this bit up. Nope, still not happy. Okie dokie then. Are we happy now? Yes, we are. Okay, so if you are just doing this in gel polish, you can come back and join me now. So you take your dotting tool and you literally carve out what you want to write or draw. And remember to have a, a, a wipe next to you just to, to wipe it off because obviously it will clog on your brush. But this will pull off the gel polish as well and it shows you the, the layer underneath. Now, if you're doing this with just gel polish and no sprinkles, it will not be as thick as it is this way. So you could use the dotting tool, the cocktail stick with a bit of cloth over it with some cleanse, or even those really tiny, I think they're like eyelash, like cotton wool bud things. I've seen them on Teen Sheen and Timu. Um, you could use one of those and cleanse for a slightly thicker line as well. Um, so you can still do this effect. It just won't be as, as raised on the edges as it is while it's carved into the powder. But it is definitely still an option. I, I did it that way before I got the acrylic. I've just not showed it in this video. But I may well film a little one just to show you and pop it on. Now, if you, or I do my attempt at little paw prints on this one, you can also do boot prints or anything else you want. But unfortunately, I'm a dumbass who has done it out of shot of the camera. If you have just done this in gel polish, or even when you've done it with the acrylic powder, cure it for the full time, so a full 60 seconds. Sometimes if I'm using powder, I like to go in and cure it for maybe another 30 or another minute just to make sure it's fully cured all the way through. If you have used the powder or the sprinkles or the glitter, do not top coat your nail <coughs> because the powder mats it and it kind of sets the skin on top. So if you top coat it, it'll ruin, it'll ruin the matte effect. Um, if you have done it with just gel polish, then after you have cured your white, you can then go in with the top coat because it, it won't ruin the design. And even if it floods the scraped out bit slightly, you've still got the contrasting colors. So the design will still work. Um, you could even go over it with like a shimmery top coat. If you chose... But if you're using the acrylic powder or any glitters or 
or sprinkles to get this effect, then there's then you don't top coat. Now, if you wanted the design to be all in one colour, you could even paint the base colour as white, top coat that, and then put another layer of top coat over that and sprinkle into the top coat and then carve that out. And that would give you an all white design. So you'd have like glitter on the top and then where the boot prints or the words are, it would just be shiny from the original top coat. So you could do it that way as well. So it'd be an all white design. But this is what I ended up with after stamping some snowflakes as well. It doesn't have to be paw prints, it could be little boot prints, it could be absolutely anything you want. But I just wanted to show you quite a, a quick design because I know Rodney the Reindeer that I did wasn't, wasn't that quick of a design. And the knitted designs are beautiful, but if you're if you're new to like tiny little lines, it can take a while. But this I thought might be an, an easier and good starting point. And it has the options for acrylic powder, sprinkles, mm -hmm. glitter, or just gel. And this is what they look like on. I just popped them on my fingers with some blue tack. But thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoy this video and that you give it a go and see how it turns out. I will have more designs coming for you soon. So if you've enjoyed, please leave me a like. And if you've got any Christmassy ideas you'd like to see, leave a comment and I will, if it's something I can manage, I will let you know and I will try and do a video on it. But thank you very much for watching and supporting my channel. And I will be back again soon with more videos. Bye.